is out. Winterbottom at the moment is on the top. He's very close to a 19. He's done a 20.1. Can anybody knock him off? It's Winterbottom, Wincup, Courtney, Van Gisbergen, then the two Kellys, Tander and Lowndes is in the 10, then Mostert, then Coulthard. Who are the likely contenders that are outside? Pi has just punched out a 1 minute 20.0. Pies jumped 19 positions with the flag out. <laughs> Adam Debore. So this was the man who was with Chas Mostert last year for all those pole positions, 10 of them. His first one was Scott Pye. What a great team effort. There or thereabouts in Sector 2 tells us that he is going to threaten the time of Cam Waters. It'll be very close. He's right on watching. It. George Commons, the engineer, is watching. Now it's about just making perfect shifts and getting it to the control line cleanly. And he does, does. the job. He's done a 39.5. That last sector was very strong. Good job, buddy. 31. 31 at the moment. Third of a second. That's going to take some beating. It is. That's a very good lap in those conditions. Luckily, I did some speedway um, prior to the start of the season at Toowoomba, so um, I, I think that's helped a bit. And um, yeah, like you said, you don't really know, um, you know, going to turn one, what the track's going to be like, so you just have to send it. 40 seconds remaining. Winterbottom is pressing on. Courtney's on a personal best lap. That might improve his position in this field. At the moment, Van Gisbergen's on for a potential career pole number 26. Seconds. And he's first of the year. Frosty's just found something from nowhere. He's just punched out a 50.69 on his second flying lap on that tyre set. McLaughlin responds with a 50.69. They are separated by four one thousandths of a second. That is unbelievable. Great job, Mark Winterbottom and Scott McLaughlin. 50.6920 plays 50.6960. And have a look at the response. Great job, guys, at Irwin Tools. Roller coaster braking area. And through the dip, you can apply more brake. Over the rise, you've got to take some brake away. Still up, 0.16. A little bit oversteery there on the exit. Steve Johnson at the bottom of the screen. Be very happy with his performance. Mums, quite stressed there looking on. <laughs> Riding every bump exactly. too. So he's looking at a mid-129. If he can get this final second oh, right, takes it right out to the wall. He got it, and he got a mid-129. And he goes to the top. And the Slade family job. Great lap. Thank you. are loving it. Oh, oh, oh. In the fence. That's hurt him. Yeah, that's a big time loss there. That's a massive time loss. This puts Slade back in the game with one to run. Well, let's see how much it cost him. He gets the fence as well. And he goes to second. He misses out on 20 round. Slade gets his first ever career pole position. And they celebrate like they've won the lottery down there at Lucky Seven. That is fantastic. Well done, Tim Slade, and to all the guys at Stone Brothers. Fantastic. That's that's awesome. I mean, you've you've caught me uh, right in, in in the moment. So really, don't know what to say. It's um, you know, I've been in this sport for a few years now and haven't managed to get a race win or a pole position. So that's that's awesome. So here comes Murph again. He is flying. Oh, he's got it on the limit on the run to the cutting. Oh, on the run to the skyline, I should say. And uh, he's one of the few guys that we've seen so far that's attacked the curve up at McPhillamy. Pepsi Max crew and Kelly Racing, top left, Will Davison. Currently provisional pole sitter, bottom left, watching the second sector time. It should be a good one. It is a good one. Another green box for the Flying Kiwi. Now it's all about braking. How brave is he going to be at the bottom of the hill? It's now in top gear, sizing up the chase. Just on 300 kilometres an hour, uses the apron, commits it. Lights on late, waits for the car to settle and then gets maximum brake pressure on the car. Flies her up on two wheels in second gear. This might, this might stick, it might be enough. Well, this has been a point and shoot lap. The talk about bringing back the old times, Greg Murphy is doing it again here in the top 10 shootout at Bathurst. 
He goes to the top at 208.8. And they go nuts at Kelly Racing. Tander here actually might nudge this time, even though I said that couldn't be done, but it may have dried off just a fraction. He's certainly pressing on as Jamie said he would. No. There you go. Well done, Greg Murphy. Eight years since that lap of the gods, he's done it again. And a first for Kelly Racing, the Pepsi Max crew will start from pole position for the great race. Check this, because Pitha goes to the top with a 10-0-3. How's that? Well done, Chris Pitha. I said he was on fire out there, and the numbers certainly made that a reality. Coming up to 45 seconds remaining, do we add another new name to the Armour Pole Award for 2016? Chris Pitha. It'll be his first supercar pole. McLaughlin's response in the Volvo. Scotty's down in 14th, one position behind. Well done, buddy, well done. One position behind James Moffat. But Chris Pitha, this is all about you. What an amazing career moment. And he has responded in the finest possible way. He certainly has. 29-year-old, young New Zealander, fist pumped all round. This is the critical marker coming up. This will tell us the real story. Oh, 0 0.02. Close, very close. The story hasn't been told yet. He stayed off the curb this time, and that's been a bit of a signature for him this weekend. He's flown it over there a lot. I reckon he's been counselled in the garage about that. Jason Richards takes aim at the finish line and wants, desperately wants a pole position for his career, and he'll get it! That's his game. That's his dad, David. Oh, awesome, lad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. Go back. <laughs> Jason just climbing out of it. It's a great reaction. And as, uh, as Wally referred to, they're, they're real motor races. <laughs> Big hug for our engineering group and Kim Jones. It's a 12-4 for Lee. Courtney improves his game. He's up into fifth position. What a great session. Thousands of a second separate and Perkat's on it again. A 12-1-7. Todd Hazelwood's knocked him off. Hazelwood's done a 12-1-5. Brad Jones racing front row of the grid. Wow. Punch and counter punch. Brad Jones racing. First it was Perkat on the provisional pole. And then it was Todd Hazelwood. Mostert's just come up and ruined some parties as well. He's in third spot. So it's not done yet. Hazelwood on the armor or provisional pole. Anton Di Pasquale under investigation moves up 17 spots into fourth. It's Hazelwood at the moment from Percat, from Mostert, from Di Pasquale. What a session. This guy has had career best qualifying here previously in Dunlop Super 2. He's also Unreal. done very well in the main game. He's just nailed an armor or pole position for the Black Duck seat covers entry for Brad Jones Racing. That is a big moment in his career. Previous best qualifying for him was fourth, and it was here in Townsville. <laughs> That's great. That is absolutely fantastic. How good does it feel? Unbelievable. I think I lost my voice on the end lap there. I was cheering so hard, but um, happy Father's Day to everyone. Obviously, it's been tremendously hard on all the crew being away from their family. So this one's for them, and a shout out to my sister watching at home. I wish she could be here. I just don't give a shit what happens to me, mate, I'm wrapped. Thank you, that was great. Yeah, really enjoyed it. We talk about best, because this is going to be good. If he can make this thing get onto the straight nice and use 
every little bit of road without putting those left-hand tyres into the dirt. <laughs> Zach Best does the fastest lap of the weekend, a 47-8-1. <laughs> yeah. That is very, very cool. No wonder the joints erupted. Yeah. That is very, very clever. Van Gisbergen is our championship leader, and he is throwing everything at this so far with four armour all pole positions this year. Out of the final corner, that car looked like a handful in the middle of the racetrack. Is this going to be enough? No! no! Zach Best has an armour all pole position. How great! Van Gisbergen misses out by two hundredths of a second. What a story. What an unbelievable story at tail and bend for Zach Best. And Tim Edwards and that group of people are going to have to run down from the other end of pit lane to come down and congratulate this man who's right beneath our feet in the commentary box. And that is one of the biggest upsets in the modern era of supercar racing. What a story. It's blown them away. Courtney and Edwards can't believe what they're looking at. And what a job. What an extraordinary performance from the 20-year-old from Benella. How are you feeling right now, right in this moment? The whole team have run down, all the Tickford team have run down from the other garages. Just tell us how this feels. It's a little bit overwhelmed. I did expect all these cameras down this end of pit lane and the pole position. It's just so surreal. I don't know what to say, really. Congratulations, Zach. Take it all in. Well done. Thanks.